Hi, this is Terry from the Wax Pad. I've been given a sample pack of Zaka Wax products that I think are due to be released on the 1st of October. And in it we have number one, which is a skin preparation. Number two is also a skin preparation. Number three is the skin rejuvenation. And more importantly is the wax remover. So this product here is the wax remover and I've actually soaked this into my dark wax pad and I've left it on there for nearly seven days. And as you can see, it hasn't done. You can see that if you can catch the light, you can actually see that it's on there. So I've left it on there because I wanted to see if it would damage the fabric, especially the darker colours. So I've got my Clean Air Wipes and I've also got my surface cleaner. So I'm just going to give it a good clean and it literally comes off. Obviously, you're not going to leave, you're not going to leave um, wax remover on your wax pad for seven days. But I left it on there because I wanted to show how much damage can be done to the wax pad. And as you can see, once this dries off, give it a dry hasn't damaged it in any way now my recommendation for using any wax um, equipment cleaner is to use experimentally and you only use it as a spot cleaner so you take once you've peeled the wax off or you've got some strip wax you give it a lovely clean with this and it will come off so that's literally as you can see that's been on there for seven days and it's perfect now I want you to show you Literally, I've got a, I've gone from one extreme to the other. So I've got a dark colour and I've got a light colour. And obviously you've got the colours in between, but obviously these are the ones that I wanted to show you first. So this is step one. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'm literally going to throw it all over. Cotton pad. So you can see that nothing... Oh, it smells very nice. As you can see, it goes onto the wax pad and literally you can just take it off. Now this one is number one. It's got a very antiseptic smell, but a lovely antiseptic. So you know that it's obviously cleaning the skin, cleans in solution, removes bacteria and refreshes the skin. You can tell it smells beautiful. Okay, then I'm going to use my anti back wipe to take that off. Again, no problems whatsoever. It's absolutely working beautiful. Step two, this one is a pre-wax oil. So an oil works in a slightly different way on my wax pads. So you literally put some oil on. I'm gonna give that a really good thing. So rub in, as you can see. I do like an oil. My wax pads are lovely for oils. They literally, because of the special coating, Nothing goes through the wax pad and then you can just literally wipe it off. Now, what I recommend for using oils, and this is mostly for some of my vegan clients and literally my clients who do lots of massage, is washing up liquid in a bottle, hot water, and it will lift any type of oil, any type of oil, gel, anything off the wax pad. And then finally, the third one is the after. So it's the post wax oil soothes and restores the skin for a healthy balance. Oh, this smells lovely as well. Put this one on and it's got a lovely lilac tone to it. Rub it in. And again, I'm just going to absorb some of the oil. As you can see, it doesn't go through the wax pad. It goes literally beautiful. A lovely quality oil. I'm going to use an anti back because a wipe doesn't necessarily work so great with oil. And then just a normal little bit of couch oil. This is your serviette from the kitchen. And as you can see, it takes it all off. Beautiful, it doesn't damage any of the fabric. Beautiful product, beautiful products. So there you have it, Marta's Zaka Wax, um, more importantly is this one, 
the literal the wax equipment cleaner as you can see it's been on there for seven days i've just put oil all over it but it's been on there for seven days hasn't taken any of the color out hasn't done anything beautiful product works really well um so yeah definitely recommend zaka wax to be used on my products thanks bye